Hello everyone, my name is Danny. In today's video, we're going to talk about the keyframing in the Final Cut Pro. Uh, we're going to go in for the details and uh, show you in the couple of examples how to work with the keyframe in the Final Cut Pro. Before I start, I have a Discord channel. You feel free to join it and I shared my project and the free transition and the title and uh, some of the project that are working with that. And I'll leave, a link, I'll leave a link in the description. Let's get started. Basic information about the keyframing. Keyframing is you let you to do a lot of thing based on the your timeline on your timeline based on your frame. We're gonna go in for the details and uh, how to do your keyframing. First, we're gonna put up our footage here. We're gonna. The first example, we're gonna go in for the keyframing the text. Uh, we're gonna go in for the title and uh, going to the uh, 3D uh, basic title. We're gonna drag it on the top of the R footage. And uh, on the title, we're gonna go in for Write it down. Mm, final cut fusion. Uh, you can change your whatever you like, change your color or change your position. We're gonna drag this one on the left hand side. This is very nice and tidy. Keep uh, title in there. This is gonna be coming, and uh, end of the video with been fade out. Now we're gonna go into do do something different. We're gonna go in for the, this one. Is coming on the left hand side, and going to the right hand side. But based on the time frame that our uh, frame that we have. We're gonna go in for the first, we're gonna a little bit uh, zoom out from the our canvas and uh, choose the first frame on your timeline. Just going for the zoom in a little bit. First frame on the timeline and going for our this video sign in there on the inspector then we're gonna go in for the keyframe rm we're gonna be making one keyframe on the beginning of the r timeline that you put it this one we're gonna go in for the some of the keyframe uh five or six keyframe we're gonna put it here then we're gonna go in inside the And as you can see here, um, when the like a key is, uh, frame is coming forward, our text is been come uh, slided inside our footage. I'm gonna go in for the a little bit zoom out. Then we're gonna same thing happen on the right hand side we're gonna go in for from the left to right and the out from the right left to right hand side we're gonna go in for the before end of the keyframe we're gonna go in for put another keyframe here and then we're gonna slide it in on the right hand side we're gonna drag the number and the slide it out of the R frame.
that is our sliding now we're gonna go in for different animation on with the keyframing uh we have uh, this final cut sitting here but we start from here we're gonna go in for keyframing choose uh, this one and slide it outside the our canvas and then we make a weak keyframe in here but we in the like a little bit uh, some frame after we're gonna come in inside our footage As you can see here, we're gonna go in inside, slide it in. The text is, is slided inside, and then it's stable on the until to end. But we're gonna go into the, we're gonna uh, our text is gonna be same same spot under here, and after that we're gonna be uh, slided out of the R footage. We're gonna put it on here and. Uh, make another keyframe on here too make sure that is make a keyframe that is the tell the final cut pro we're gonna come in here then we're gonna uh, we're gonna our text is gonna be onto to here the same spot from here when it's getting uh, when it's onto to end of the this one right we're gonna be a slided out of the R footage. We have to make another keyframe on the same position on the this part as well. Does it make a sense for you? Then we're gonna go in for the end of the R uh, basic title and a slide it out of the R footage as you can see here i'm gonna play it and see what we get and uh on the transform part you can play with the uh, ever anchor and uh you know the scale as well you know can put a timeline on the like a you can play like a the the our footage is been coming from the middle of that and slide it in right and the just keyframe it i'm gonna do that quickly for you right I, we have a one uh our compounding clip on the top hand side top top of the our bureau and uh, we're gonna go in for the keyframe uh, scale under that one. We're gonna go in for the keyframe under zero, right? And put the keyframe and the, a little bit forward and uh, put it on the 100%. We're gonna keep it at the same position until to here. We're gonna put it another keyframe on here as well. And then we're gonna scale the, all of them. Oh, sorry, I uh, had one thing wrong. Uh, make a keyframe here. Then I'm going to push it a little bit forward. And uh, scale it out here as well. Uh, as you can see here now, the, the compounding clip that we made, is like scale it in and uh, scale it out right under this part we're gonna go in for the crop on the our footage we have a car is driving the kind of the road and uh, we have a under this one we're gonna be give a one map on the top of the our footage 
right? We're gonna be for that. We're gonna be press the M and uh, we're gonna be select some part marker to make another marker for us and then slide uh drag our map on the top of our footage but we don't want it like that the map is coming up but is uh nothing happened and then rest of the clip we should do it with the key framing key framing is working on the this part uh we're gonna go in for the this one we're gonna map we're gonna keyframe our map on the left hand side our canvas we're gonna go in for the this one and the drag it onto this one and the keyframe it when you get into here the map is showing all of them and then keyframe it to the right hand side and uh as you can see here the bar is still we don't want it like that we need to something different we're gonna do to re reset our parameter on the map uh gonna reset it we don't want it like that because we know we need the nice animation the map is completely coming up and the slide it on the left hand side our clip we going for the keyframe on the base first one and uh, we're gonna go in for the right hand side and keyframe it as zero we're a little bit coming forward and uh we keyframe it on the this part as well and uh we're gonna go in for forward and they keep it under here onto here we make another keyframe to keep it the map at the same position and then we're gonna go in for end of the our map and a slide it all of them is out or in that is our result in the this one It's a nice animation with a very simple step on the Final Cut Pro with the keyframe. We understand a little bit about the transform keyframe and the crop keyframe. We're gonna be uh do the difference, do the some practicing or something that is a little bit make a sense for you we're gonna have a one png final cut pro and i'm gonna do the scale it down to the zero like at this side and put it here we before that we have a like really stable final cut pro png we're gonna go in for this one and be before a start we're gonna be put a marker on the sum part just press the m on the top of your footage and uh we just do that as an example it's not really a matter of what part we're gonna be and uh this part we're gonna be keyframe the scaling from the zero to the this 27 percent right we're gonna go in for the beginning of the timeline under that one i'm keyframe it this one and put it on the zero we come into forward under that we make a marker here and they put it as a 27 percent and we're gonna go in for this part we're gonna go in for the push it up to the here on the right corner hand side and uh on the this part we're gonna go in for the position we're gonna make a keyframe here oh sorry make a keyframe on the here 
and under this one onto here we're gonna be pushing up to there we're gonna going forward we we can drag it up to the here as you can see here one red line here is coming up when you play it scale it up and the, all the way is going on the right hand side but we're gonna do the different we're gonna go in for another one it's gonna be a little bit move we're gonna go in for the put it as a zero percent again and uh before that we're gonna up to here we're gonna be making a 21st keyframe and uh under this one we're gonna go for the zero percent on the scale again as you can see here when you get in there and uh scale it down scale it down to zero percent and then we from here to there we're gonna go in for the, this side and uh, scale it up during the increasing. We're gonna go in for the, this one and then move the R PNG file to this one up to here. And the scale is going for the 27% again. And uh, we're going to play what we get it onto here. We're going there and scale it down to zero and scale it back up. That is really good animation with the keyframing only. Just to the seat too simple. A step with the only for the scale and the position that is our final result we're gonna go in for I'm gonna play it a little bit going up and then going down and going up again it's a really easy step for one simple transition or one simple animation for your footage next part i'm gonna talking about the map how to do the for example one vehicle on your top of your map and they're really common to the do that especially for the traveling and we're gonna drag our map on the bottom and uh we're gonna drag our car png or download that on the internet uh, i'm gonna drag it on the top of our clip before i start at this one we if you have interested to all of the plugin that i use under this one I, all of them is free you can download it on my discord I'll leave a link in the description and uh, if the added value to you please smash the like button it's helped me out to spread this video around the internet and the subscribe to my channel to get more about the Final Cut Pro before we waste the time let's get started this part as well too before that we're gonna go in for a scale it down a little bit to get a, this nice little car we're gonna go in for from the, this one. We're gonna crop that. Oh, sorry. Mm. Transform. We're gonna go in for the city. We're gonna go in for the airport. But we're gonna go in for the this road, right? We're gonna drive our car a little bit big, but sorry, I could I don't have it a better like a emoji for that one uh, so i'm gonna a little bit smaller 
we're going to use it as the same for our position. We're going to be open the marker or to understand where we where put uh, some of the marker here to understand a little bit. Don't lost the position. Yeah, I'm going to just only do the all of them in the this one and uh we're gonna go in for the we're gonna be move our car from here to the airport for example this area uh just gonna quickly put uh, some text as well to make it more understandable i'm gonna put it under um, title basic title i'm gonna put it on the top of that one and uh just quickly make a title here mm. at least a bit this one is different difficult to use I'm gonna do the this one A. I'm gonna drag it up to the position. Uh, gonna from the A. We're gonna go and from the A to the B. Gonna drag this one and uh, just scale it down a little bit and uh, put it under B. Just all the way going up and uh, drag all of them in the this one. We're gonna go in for the A position A all the way to going to the B, but we're gonna go in for the this road. Scale it down from here. We're gonna choose our car and uh, put uh, some of the keyframe for it. I'm gonna put it, drag the one keyframe here, and the second keyframe we're gonna go in all the way here. And then next one we're gonna go in for here, and uh, next one. It's kind of the, this one we're gonna go in for for example this one here and uh next one is gonna be here and last one is gonna be here it's really simple to do that with the uh, keyframe as you can see here we're gonna go in all the way down and then go in here and then going to the destination b that is our route to go into the destination B. But you can do the whatever you like. You can do that between the country with a airplane or any vehicle with a, like a kind of the ship as well, anything that you want. That is really simple. Is the one plugin on the internet is called the map, right? You can download that one too. But I do the really simple step. You can do that with a simple step on this one. You don't need to buy a plugin, expensive plugin, or the one simple example. As you can see here, you can do your keyframe. It's really easy. You can do that on the different street. If you zoom it in on the map and uh, a screenshot on your computer, you can do that. This one easy for you. So. And uh, that's all for today. I hope so you enjoyed the video. And uh, like the video as well. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you next time. Cheers.